to that homicide outside a grocery store on Barone Street. The search is on for the people responsible for killing a man outside a downtown Rouse's yesterday evening. That innocent bystander now identified as local comedian Brandon Boogie B. Montrell. Brittany Dixon actually spoke with a close friend today about he, how he wants Montrell to be remembered. Brittany, what did he say? Yeah, I mean, if you just scroll through Montrell's Instagram, you can really tell how he was loved by everyone he met, whether that be people from the comedy scene in Los Angeles or his hometown friends right here in the Big Easy. It was one of those people that you always see come up in your life, but never does anything bad to anyone. Nobody has anything negative to say about him. Gets along with everybody, never arrested, never affiliated with anything. Just an innocent bystander caught in the crossfire. 43-year-old comedian Brandon Boogie B. Montrell was sitting in his car in the Barone Street Rouse's parking lot when he was shot by a stray bullet. Friend and family attorney Juan LaFonta says Montrell had just picked up Christmas Eve dinner for his grandmother. This is now what's happening to people with the crime getting out of control in the city. It's now people are being victimized. Montrell's mother released a statement Saturday morning saying, my son was not just the victim of a stray bullet. He's the victim of decades of neglect that have left New Orleans youth with no hope for a future and no real fear of consequences. You putting kids in a hot box and wondering why they're jumping out. You know, they're gonna react however they're gonna react, I think. The community's forgotten about kids. Now the NOPD is looking for three people. These two men named suspects in the case and this woman, Damonique Smith, as a person of interest. They're also looking for this car they believe the suspects left to the scene in. On behalf of the Montreal family, LaFonta says keep pushing his brand, keep pushing his label, and if you recognize any of the people involved, you can call Crime Stoppers. Brittany Dixon reporting for us tonight. Thanks, Brittany.